the development is actually quite big because our relationship with the orchestra has developed. We are, we know each other better. We have uh, done many tours now. We've done many recordings. We've done a lot of work on on Arte um, television and live web. So there is a kind of a process of finding each other. And I think that the main important moment was the Japanese tour when the orchestra and I felt that we are really getting very close. And we have built since then so that there is, I feel, a more natural understanding of each other, which is something that I think is important in the concerts, that you feel a certain trust, a certain understanding. Orchestra has always been very good. And, and when I came here, first I was amazed just by the quality, the technical quality of the orchestra. But I think that we have developed even more into this sort of a chamber attitude, orchestra with a chamber attitude, where we listen to each other well and, and um, react to each other well. The orchestra is, I think, even more close now. I have, since I came here, I have maybe willingly or unwillingly, maybe intuitively, um, been enlarging the repertoire of Orchestra de Paris because I come from the part of the world where certain music is very normal, very acceptable to me, and yet not the standard repertoire for, for a French orchestra. I'm talking about Nielsen, I'm talking about music by Sibelius. Um, I'm talking about even music from Estonian composers like Arvo Perter, Kis Ventur. Mm. Curiously enough, even some of the French pieces that we have done together here have not been performed by Oxford de Paris for a very, very long time, if ever. For example, the Duraflé um, Three Dances, we did it, I think it was the very first time for for Ox de Paris. So one goes and tries to find interesting things, but not necessarily just to enlarge the repertoire, but because these things, these pieces of music are somehow important to me or somehow important um, to, to, to the context of our, uh, our co concerts. So we, we end up occasionally finding very interesting pieces. Mm. That, that have not been done here yet. I do, I do want to um, especially single out the, the Nordic repertoire, especially our new project now, which is going to be recording and playing all Sibelius symphonies. To Japanese audience, I am very much looking forward to coming to Japan, always. Whenever I come to Japan, I always look forward to it. I am um, looking forward to also seeing a little bit more than just the concert halls and hotels. Uh, can't wait for the food, for the wonderful, wonderful um, culinary adventures that we always have in Japan. Most importantly, looking forward to the concerts and um, performing for you with Oxford de Paris.